Hey everybody, Arco here, and kicking off 2024 with the Round 1, aka Octo Finals, of the Player's Choice Invitational of the Professional Risk Takers scene here. And we have to look at our spawn here first. We are spawned pretty much all in the northwest. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, alliances are on for the group members here. Just gotta make sure we do that as we figure out what the heck to do on our turn. Maybe if we go for the plus two, but that's really all we got going. Let's say the chaotic. To move the three out, possibly. That seems to be an agreement. And that works turn order wise, that he goes right before me. But alright. Anyway, with how this tournament works, is that uh, there are eight groups, of course. And every group had their own list of settings. This is a six player, five player, four player winner advanced format. And every group settings has uh, follow. Oh, God. So. Sorry for explaining this horribly. The <laughs> have their own theme of settings. This group here has the theme of the U.S. Cities map pack. So we'll be doing a six-player progressive world dom game on Las Vegas, as you can see here. And then the five players that don't win move on to a five-player 70% Los Angeles game. And then the four players who don't win move on to a four-player progressive world dom on new york and the winner of that moves on the other three are eliminated and the fantasy map pack aka the one with uh rivertown and rivertown advanced um was not a part of the options so i just let the uh uh, told everybody, uh, just, you know, just let, <laughs> let it fully random for me and see where I end up. And we ended up in this group here. And I'll introduce the players in a second once, uh, uh, once we finish our turn. We thank Chaotic for moving out. So we're going to take this bonus. We got to strengthen this southern spot by two at least. This by one. And we'll guard like so. So we'll put our main stack there. Players in the game in the group that we got randomed into. General Latar, Master, technically Grandmaster. He's all over the place in the ranks. Uh, Feliz, Master, technically Grandmaster. Mongoose, Grandmaster. Chaotic Disaster, Master, technically Grandmaster. Oh. And finally, greeting out for the plus four turn one with insane dice is Pete. <laughs> First tournament game of the year, and we get matched up with him again. What were those rolls? I didn't fully see all of them. Oh, rolled the three and lost two on it. Okay, not the not the best outcome, I guess. I'm fine with being good neighbors to everybody here. So we're all getting one bonus. I think we, with our crappy spawn that we got, probably going to be getting the, the lowest bonus here with just the plus two. Which may not, uh, not be great long term. Okay, these are unstable portals, so they don't matter too much. Hopefully 
Steve uses that to create another position. That's a good move. So over the next two turns, it's going to be combining some stuff at the top. Right, chaotic adds up there. That's a good move. Probably going to be attacking south with our five to try and separate ourselves as much as possible yeah spawn and bonus wise we seem to have drawn the short straw here that a three to prevent people from taking that. And we'll start combining. Unstable portals. Gonna make me want to fortify the three onto it to prevent somebody else from sneaking up there, I guess. I'm gonna keep moving my uh, my southern position down one again, and keep that going as far as it can down there. One turn at a time, of course. Feliz gets broken. Some possible alliance chat stuff going on in the background that we don't know about. So far, we've been neutral with our alliance chat. Yeah, and we'll likely forget about it for later. <laughs> Does this connect? Yeah, it does. Yeah, we'll guard the portal that way. We have three very strong positions. Which is normally, it's normally good offensively if I was, say, 
second, third, fourth in the turn order, but I'm fifth. Meaning I am a likely target come the second set of trades. Especially if I don't have a trade on three. I don't think I don't think we combine our fives together. I might want to separate separate them to create three and a half positions, so to speak. <clears> this <throat> to be a bit tougher to kill. Keep running to the corner down there. All right, we get another portal coming. Elite our card skips. And Pete is not happy about that. <laughs> yep, yeah, probably telling everybody to attack red. Uh, we're all gonna be all gonna be card skipping, I guess. All right, mongoose doesn't. Hmm. What's our cards looking like? Alright, no wild cards. Yeah, the portals are being uh, set on up there. That an eight. Break him there. Then we'll run back away from the fifteen.
even though I guess the unstable portals kind of open that up either way. Should have attacked the one that isn't a portal. Interesting. <laughs> ah, the Elite R 7v10. I've lost a 7v10 to Elite R before in a 2v2. <laughs> ah, classic. So he is he is saying to the board no nonsense. Apparently that's unacceptable by his standards for me breaking him. Even though he forced he forced me to get a lower trade. Damn, he's rolling everything out and he's winning all, <laughs> all the slow rolls. Oh man, games two and three are gonna be interesting. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, so Feliz and Mongoose come out on top of that entire exchange. Feliz especially, since he's now getting the uh, the best trade. And we'll see if Elidar makes it to that. He probably will. 24 troops is still a lot to take out. But if people thin him out a bunch here. Yeah, if white retakes that bonus. This might be doable for us to kill him. So he'll be on 19. It's the 8 and 10 to kill 19 troops, assuming Chaotic retakes this bonus. Nineteen troops. We have thirteen to work with here. If we don't go for it, I think Pete does. Let's see. We 
think we'll just park our main stuff down here. And combine in the corner. So we are on five cards again. Uh, no wilds. Pete trades the 12. Feliz the 15. We might die if Mongoose or Chaotic have a set on three. Sense. Where's the Okay. Feliz is going to sit on some portals. So we're on 43 troops. Mongoose has it set on three. Does he have enough to kill me? I think he does. Although his troops aren't all pointed at me. It would be a tight kill there. If Chaotic has a set on three as well, 25 trade to go for my kill with five cards. His nine takes care of my ones. This hit becomes an eight or nine hits the four. And then his 20 stack could take care of the rest. Especially with Mongoose making the line slightly easier with hitting those two ones. All right, it's looking like he doesn't have a trade, so we live. Okay. Now, how does this change anything? Twenty-five trade. We have thirty-one to place. that up there no set on three but we are pretty high up in troops
we're going to have to get our four on the right out of the line of fire. Maybe hitting Pete's one just below his bonus there. It's a nice hidden spot that's <clears throat> as far out of the way as possible. Please not compete and I blow. <laughs> you know, we below 60 died. How dare you, Feliz? How yeah, trades the 30? Do they go for Pete? It's looking like it. Yeah, well played. That's what I was eyeing up to do this turn. Maybe I had enough to do it the previous turn. When he was still on three. I'll have to double check that to see if I had it. Broke Feliz because his next best target is to kill me here, which I think even with the break he might pull off. Uh, we do have a set on four if we somehow survive. Oh, he's not going for me, okay. Does open the line for that 24 to come down and hit my 14, though.
Chaotic Trades, the 45. He's going to go for us and sit on 5. Oh. He's going to have to split some there. Let's get the 4. Can, oh, I can loop around through the runs, alright. So that's the kill. But if Mongoose has a set on three, he just wins. He's gambling that neither... That Mongoose does not have the set, I guess. Beyond 92 and 5. Ooh, if Mongoose has a set, he definitely wins now. Does Feliz have enough steam, actually? Yeah. Now Chaotic's the one saying oops. Please doesn't quite get it in time. Okay, Mongoose has no set. But yet, that should be the win. Well played to Mongoose. Stayed out of the fray the least and gets rewarded. 105 troops from that double trade. Yeah, even if Feliz has a set on three, he's still 50 behind. Mongo should just win it here. And that 20 can loop up through the portal and then hook around. Still should have enough here. Had enough to do it this turn, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> Felice has the set, but yeah, I see he's still down by a bunch. Really good dice on these uh, stack hits here. Ooh, not that one though. Just trying to make the pathing as awkward as possible, but either way, it's just GG. Mongus is too many, too many troops. Oh, he had the set on three anyways. go and Mongoose advances to the quarterfinals and the rest of us get to play the Los Angeles game <laughs> all right it's on to the 
70% Los Angeles game. This map seems a little interesting. Oh my god, and the leader has a 6 and a 4 ready to take that area. Police has a 9, what the hell? Yeah, leader might hold that plus 3, but all the other bonuses seem... Uh, Kind of impossible to take. Slowly combine all that there, I guess. Yeah, it's an interesting map in the sense that this bonus here is being naturally blocked off by one point with a plus five. So, for possible 70 runs later, it's important that I keep something behind there. He gets a good spawn on the plus three. We'll see if he <laughs> we'll see if he uses that to smack any of us for last game. <laughs> oh, man. Is that a plus seven? Alright. Are you kidding me? We're gonna try and uh <laughs> Oh what is this mess? <laughs> what the fuck? Eh, I'll let a leader with the plus three figure out if he wants to let chaotic hold that or not. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing because this bonus claim for me is absurd, <laughs> but we'll see. If... I don't even I don't think Feliz moves out of the corner over there. This map uh oh wow okay. We're letting, we're having bonuses on this map for some reason. It's like fives and sevens are being held too? Sure. Okay, 
Blader blocks me from being able to leave Feliz's bonus. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, man. I mean, do I have to go for this now? Because everyone's taking... Ugh, God. <laughs> what the hell is this game? What am I doing? I'm already weak. I don't know. I didn't expect to be holding this bonus at all. I didn't think we were going to be having a bonus game on this map. But I will graciously leave Feliz's bonus. It seems... <laughs> this doesn't seem right. So someone's going to run the 70 super quickly. And I don't get broken either. What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <sighs> I mean, our fortify every round is going to be... To wherever the portal ends up being on here, I guess. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I have to put a bulk of my troops. <laughs> and I <laughs> don't walk my troops over there in the bonus. Because surely someone's going to hit me for the 70 run. Assuming I don't die straight up. <laughs>
<sighs> we have a wild card. So if we somehow manage to live, to that point then maybe we could try going for a 70 run what is 70 on this map I don't know uh, it's probably about 28 or 29 I think since there's no blizzards. Not quite open enough this turn. So next round, whenever the portals are... are open... Hmm. Yeah, he hits my three to keep that line open for himself. That's fair.
Oh shit, was that portal open that whole time? Huh. Interesting. This portal at the top was was a one. I could have hit through the one, two, 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 one, and then used this stack. Shit. I may have had it last turn and didn't notice with that portal being open. Was that really open? Ugh. <laughs> also, Elite are semi feeding me, so. Not sure why he's doing that. I think he may have fully fed me, actually. Pete just kills me and takes the win. Yeah, that's what happens. Unless Chaotic goes for something here. Nope. Good game to Pete. bunch there. Make that a four. Yep. Oh, he's not killing me. Okay. Just gonna go for the 70 instead. Fair enough. Yeah, it's more than enough ones to hit here. Yeah, didn't even need to kill me, even though I could have. Another questionable move there from Elidar. <laughs> if that portal was open before, I think I may have had it the when I set on five. I'll have to again. I'll have to double check that. But either way, let's move on to the New York game. All right, on to the third and final game here. A four-player World Down Progressive game on New York. And we are going second in turn order here. Four-player game on these, huh? Yeah, we'll move that up to there. All right, so we take a plus three, leader takes a plus three. See if anybody else is allowed to hold the plus five or not. This is going to be forcing someone to go no bonus. It's looking like Chaotic's going to be the volunteer for that.
We'll go there. Keep that eight open to the middle of the board, just in case. <clears throat> Yeah, so, in both games, I may have had, like, in the six-player Las Vegas game, I may have had, uh, the kill on Pete there after I got the kill on Alita, but I don't know if it was worth it to continue that chain. So that one I'm kind of unsure of, and then in just this last one, I didn't notice that the top middle portal was open until after my turn, like after I had traded and did all that. So I'm not sure if I could have uh, got the, I think I may have had the 70 there since that portal was open and I didn't realize. But anyway, on to this game here. Keep this stack roughly in the middle somewhere. I'll fortify that two up. Leader moves that stack there. These are stable portals, right? Oh my god. How much is this worth? Oh no, plus 12. The leader's 10 is a part of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bonus game. Plus 12. Oh, my God. The early sets. Do we have a set? We do.
yeah, plus 12 is just a bit ridiculous. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> These slow rolling dice today. Alright, so he's gonna smack me next turn. Not sure if and how I can prevent that. I'll let him hit the five, I guess. Should have fortified that over. All right, we have a set to stay alive.
I'll early set to give better odds for the others to get them. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, Felice still goes for the Chaotic Bounty. What are we doing for cards? Yep, gets good dice. No set on three. hit the one stack. No set on four. I'm not going to have enough to kill him. Hmm. 
Later has the set. That is game. Uh, and we have no set on four. Yeah. Luck wise, we just ran out. Passing. Ah, man. Not sure if I... See, I think as I can't guarantee if... Um, not knowing if people have sets on three or four or not there. I think regardless, I was in a doomed spot. So I have no set here. It is possible if a leader doesn't have a trade here, we could still win this. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to break and hit a bunch of territory. So you have another set on three? Yep, that's the card luck. Yeah, so even... I think I played the Mayotte pretty well. Because if we had a set on four there, we take the victory. Because the sets are 45. That was more than enough to sweep, I think. Ah, well. Good game, Melidar! Sure, you got that. All right, well, that's the unfortunate uh, early exit to the uh, Player Choice Invitational Cup here. Uh, congratulations to uh, Mongoose, Pete, and Alida for moving on. And yeah, I think um, my chances. More skill-wise, I think I had a shot at the 70 that I missed in the second game. And then here, if Elidar doesn't have a trade on three, or I have a set on four, I think I win here. But oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, GG's to all of our opponents. Uh, other tournament games to come, of course. But alright, GG's once again, and until next time, take care, and cheers for stopping by.